everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, we are rejoining the uh, Jeremy Clarkson, or Clarkson Alpha, depending on when in the series you uh, stepped up or caught up with this mission. Yeah, it is uh, in orbit currently of uh, Uranus and is about to make its uh, third pass. Yeah, because we captured and we made an orbit where we uh, dipped into the atmosphere, got a, last, a little bit of science, and then uh, now we're on our third pass. We're about uh, 16 hours away from that pass. Um, so we can just jump out here. You can see our orbital tracking. Uh, we did make a small correction way the hell out here to bring our periapsis down to about 1.27 million meters. Uh, atmospheric cap for Uranus here is about 1.4. Our last pass is like 1.39 or 3.89 somewhere around there and it was real quick like we were in and out there was no heating no adverse effects nothing we just got some uh, high atmo science a little bit here and there and uh once we cleared the planet and had a clean shot at earth we were able to radio it all home uh so i did make a very small correction brought our periapsis down a little bit to 1.27 million meters and so we're gonna we're going to try our luck there and see if we can't get some more of that uh, sweet, sweet atmospheric science. Uh, I don't know if we're going to hit a new biome or not because uh, we're kind of equatorial in our orbit. So uh, we might not see anything new and or unique, but uh, we got to try. So I was uh, setting up flight computer when I realized that I wasn't recording. So here we are. We're going to make our first radio in in about 10 hours. Let's go ahead and clear that signal delay and then uh, action group seven is for our queued actions that's our primary radio in nope let's click outside of the timeline box queue up action group seven on the number pad why is nothing happening all right primary radio alpha seven. Oh. okay 2.68 hours it doesn't look like it's actually why is that not working with our flight computer because we should have like 12.68 hours. Oh, good grief. All right. I guess uh, we'll just do this all manually then. Oh, wait. Maybe I hit toggle. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. Whichever. You know, however we get the science, that's fine. So we're going to set up another one for right before periapsis. Uh, 16 hours, what are you looking at? 40 minutes, so let's go for uh, 27 minutes. Enter, and then uh, toggle again. And then 16 hours, uh, what are we looking at? 40 mic, that would be mic mic. And uh, we'll just let that count down at 16, 15 or so odd seconds. Uh, yeah, I wish I had something to talk about for 16 whole seconds, other than the fact that I don't have anything to talk about for five more seconds until our timer runs out and I can hit the toggle button one whole second early. Excellent. All right, and then we'll just uh, run that one more time at 16 hours. Let's just say f uh, 50 minutes. Clear that and hit toggle. And uh, now we can commence our flyby. Our RCS fuel is locked. We don't have a whole lot of it left, but I'm hoping that a pass through the upper atmosphere will slow us down a little bit more, maybe lower this orbital period down from, gosh, what is it? Uh, 300 and... Yeah, like 300 days or something. I would like for it to reduce a little bit. Yeah, maybe we can make a small bit of an inclination change and get over something other than the equatorial bands but uh, I think we are prepped and ready so I'm actually going to reset our signal delay to nothing just to make sure yeah all right well uh, fingers crossed everybody that we don't burn up this mission for absolutely no reason whatsoever I, it is a very real possibility because I have no idea at what point we'll actually start seeing some adverse effects from this gas giant's atmosphere but I assume they will happen at some point once we get low enough, probably. All right, here is our first batch of erroneous radio ends. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything worthwhile. Reset, 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 reset. Yeah, not 
not science at that point. So, all right, here we go. Maybe for real this time. You know, maybe we should just uh, admire the view a little bit. That's a good one. Although I'm sure there will be many more much better ones when I'm not paying close enough attention. Oh, yeah, we dipped out of time warp because uh, we have another erroneous set of radio ins. There we go. Those are dealt with. Let's go ahead and bounce back into time warp. Uh, how long we got? Six hours. This should be good. Did we bounce out of time warp? Yes, we did. I think we... Nope. Space just above. And it looks like we cleared this one also. Great. All of this work, and we're going to get no signs to show for it. Yeah, 13 minutes and 23 minutes on either side of our periapsis. So at some point here, we're going to thunk into some atmosphere. That was not it. I did that manually. As you can see, we're still in space. Space just above Uranus's equator. Oh, wow. That is quite awesome. Saturn way out there, and Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Earth, and Thought I saw Venus in there. That should, yeah, that's Jupiter. That should be Venus in the middle. Earth, and you can kind of see the moon poking out from the side. Wow. Like, everybody's here except Neptune and Pluto. That is really cool. Okay, let's, let's stop oogling the solar system and get back to work because we're going to lose contact with Earth here in just a few minutes time as we slowly creep around the backside of the planet and there's no connection so uh, whatever we do get better be good because we won't be able to radio it in until we clear the planet uh, if if we clear the planet is probably a much more accurate summation of the situation here. And uh, there was an unintentional uh, thunk from Atmo, or thunk from Time Warp into Atmo. All right, fingers crossed. This is uh, where the rubber meets the road. Upper atmosphere of Uranus's equatorial bands. And we are descending at a vertical speed of 1.2 kilometers per second. Wow, okay. Uh, two minutes until our next radio in. So far, none heat warnings. Oh, you know what I need to do. I'm really sorry I have to do this. But uh, when I load a vessel from the tracking station, I always turn on ignore max temperature so it doesn't blow up. We'll turn that off, make sure this is all above board. And I'm not going to uh, unexplode this vehicle because I forgot to take off the cheat menu that keeps KSP from screwing me out of many spacecraft. So I think obviously we have hit this uh, biome before, probably. I don't remember. It's been a really long time, but uh, we are now shrouded in darkness. Uh, doesn't matter a whole lot. We got RTGs for power, which uh, should be keeping us topped off. Oh, we actually are showing a drain. Uh, I should probably shut down the avionics of one of these things. I wonder what our total mass is. Let's bring up vessel info. About 889 tons. So yeah, we could shut down the avionics on either of these cores. Oh, we already did. Our surveyor core is not active. So, I mean, yeah, that's a thing. I, our reaction wheels are probably trying to torque stuff to keep us pointed in some direction. Not necessarily needed, but... It's not like we can turn them off currently anyway. 
Oh well, 41 seconds from our radio in. Let's hope we get something good. And oh wow, our apoapsis is plummeting. Go baby, go. Please, please, please. Yeah, we're already down to a 78-day orbit. That is... I mean, I mean, it's good, but... We really need to hurry up and get out of this atmosphere then. Before it becomes a suborbital track. 15 seconds until our first radio check. And uh, goodbye, Saturn. I could have angled a dish at you and bounced a signal back to Earth from there. We got plenty of stuff in orbit there. Ah, oh, dang it. Does not look like we're going to, does not look like we are going to hit our pay dirt today. Ah, uh, reset, reset. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Dang it. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we'll change biomes. I doubt it. Maybe. But uh, we have shortened our orbit by a third. We're down to just over a 100-day orbit, and we are on our way back up. That is good news. Nine minutes until our next radio check. Uh, 23 kilometers per second, our current speed, and slowing. Holy shnikes. Well, I'm glad something here is working out in our favor, and since we're already on our way back up, we've hit the thickest part of this atmosphere we're going to. Not a single heat warning, not even a graphic. Uh, I'd say we're in pretty good shape for not uh, burning up and exploding, which is uh, really good news for Mr. Uh, Jeremy Clarkson here. Just a mere nine minutes until our radio in. I guess we can go ahead and physics warp since we know we won't be facing any adverse effects due to the atmosphere. We've already hit all the thickness that we're going to. And uh, it's just a matter of climbing back up. And vertical speed, about 900 meters per second or so. Well, miscalculated that one a little bit. Um, we're actually out of the atmosphere now and clearing away. 3.364 gigameters is our uh, apoapsis you know, orbital period of uh, about 67 days, maybe almost 68, and five minutes away from our next radio check, which uh, I'm willing to bet will yield us nada. And here we go. Yep. Nothing, 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 nothing. This was, I mean, as far as payout is concerned, a worthwhile endeavor. We did lower our orbital period, which is excellent, because now it's not kind of right on the cusp of ejecting us from the Uranus system. Or orbit, I should say. Uh, and maybe we can spend some of this fuel to alter our inclination. There we go. We have uh, re-established connection with Earth. Mission Control is now getting the signal that the uh, flyby was a success. Nothing burned up and exploded. All systems are checking regularly, but they are not getting any science data of stuff they didn't already know. Uh, so if we come way out here to our apoapsis... And uh, now keep in mind, we got about 30 liters of fuel left. I don't know how that translates to Delta V, but... Um, I don't know if we can make that drastic of a change. Nor do I know if that's going to take us over a different or unique biome. Um, what would it take to really spin this thing out a bunch? 230. We certainly don't have that kind of kick behind us. But maybe if we were able to keep a really low periapsis, 174. And that does put us on a not uh, fatal track. That does, unfortunately. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe we will spend the last little bit of our fuel, try to keep ourselves just outside of the atmosphere and get ourselves into a uh, polar orbit. So maybe we can get some good science out of that. That's only in 34 days. Do we have anything coming up before then? Oh, come on. Oh, in 30 days we have to make... Uh, oh, in 30 days almost everything shows up to Venus. Of course it does. Good. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? That just makes so much, so much sense. 
Add alarm. Yeah, it's way down here. So uh, I guess we're going to do a bunch of bouncing around. That'll be a whole lot of fun. Well then, that'll all have to wait until uh, next episode. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.